Hi, my name is Sophie Edelstein. I am a second year undergrad at Yale University. Um, I am potentially majoring in the history of science, medicine, and public health on the pre-med track. Um, I initially came to Yale as a biomedical engineering major um, after participating in, in research at the Yale School of Medicine, which I still do now, um, but I, I also did it while I was in high school. Um, I was a student at Wilbur Cross High School in New Haven, um, and that's sort of where my whole research career got started. Um, the Yale Pathways to Science program definitely got me in there, um, got me working with, with scientists, and sort of just left off from there. Being a Pathways student, I had had this um, exposure to STEM at a very young age. Um, most of my, my passion and drive to do the scientific research I, I've been doing for so long um, is, is the personal connection. I had a number of um, health conditions growing up and I, I, wanted, I wanted answers and I wasn't always getting the answers that I wanted. Um, and I wanted everything to be explained to me. Um, so when people weren't explaining things to me, I'd pretty much just pester them and then go on and do, do the research on my own. Um, and I also realized that a lot of my health conditions didn't have the greatest treatments. And, and that's why um, I dove into that research. As a Pathways student, you're definitely given a lot of opportunities. So take advantage of those. Scientists at Yale wanna have high schoolers and and students in their labs. Um, and it's a great experience and you get exposed to what science research is at a young age, um, which you can then carry carry with you as you move on to um, a career in STEM. Um, and having having learning those basic um, techniques and, and how and how do you do science research research and ask good questions is, is really important. I ask of you, the audience, to envision a gift. I gave a TED talk in 2018 at the TEDx Yale conference um, and it is titled The Gift of Adversity. And so um, I wanted to give this TED talk because I think that I definitely had a story to tell um, and it wasn't just a story for me, it was a story for, for young or budding scientists everywhere. Um, and the TED talk actually highlights my childhood and my journey through STEM and how there wasn't this um, exact light bulb moment when I, I saw a science demonstration or um, a science teacher inspired me and, and that was where or why I wanted to go into STEM. But it was this series of events that led me to it. And so I highlight how as I got older, the, the story became obviously full of, full of uh, much more momentum. Um, but then as I was, I was in the hospital a lot more, that became my, my outlet. Um, and so I sort of used these this frustration and anger with the, the health, the healthcare I was getting, and and use that as um, a springboard for my own scientific research. So find something that you're passionate about and let that be the, the drive for you.